Hello, welcome to the ride. How many people will be playing? One player? Great, I'll keep you company. Is this your first time? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you right away. My apologies. Please type in your name. Thanks a lot. I need to remind you that your buzzer is the letter B. And now, it's time for the best part of the ride. Remember, you're always getting closer to the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack, The Ride is sponsored by the American Association of Taxidermatologists Limited. Whether you need tan skin or skin tan, your hide is safe in our hands. And now, here he is, the hardest working guy in trivia, your host, Guy Towers. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the game. I uh, hope you're prepared to lose your shirt. <laughs> Well, aren't you lucky? I'm about to show you some skin. Hit that buzzer and let's... The category is... There's more than one way to skin a cat. Coming at you. If someone offers to teach you how to skin the cat, what should you bring to the lesson? Your cat, a butcher's knife and some twine. Your cat, a butcher's knife and a skateboard. Your cat, a butcher's knife and a yo-yo. Or your cat, a butcher's knife and some lotion. Some lotion? No, I think that's for skinning the cat on the beach. And uh, hey, don't forget to wear a hat. <laughs> Just for the record, here's the right answer. Skin the cat, also known as the tidal wave, is a yo-yo trick. And you know, if you have one of those razor-edged yo-yos, you can skin the cat and skin the cat. <laughs> All right, you buzz in and set the cash back. And your category is... Dermatology is the best medicine. All right, 33.91 in your pocket if you can tell me this. Okay, one dermatologist jokes to the other, hey, Alan, your epidermis is showing. The other responds, well, Sid, your subcutaneous layer is showing. What might Sid say next? A lot of people... Yeah, a lot of people do have shingles. Eh, it's a shame, really. Uh, in case you're wondering... The subcutaneous layer of tissue lies beneath the epidermis and the dermis, so if that's showing, then Sid's got some serious problems. Well, aside from thinking that the epidermis is showing joke is actually funny. Hit your buzzer and snag the cash. And for your viewing pleasure, your skin glows as if you've had a nutritional meal. Ready, set, here you go. According to some experts, humans can get all the nutrients they need from consuming just two things. What would be the best name for a product that combines both? Milk spuds, orange orange roughy, banana water, or apple beer? <laughs> banana water? Hey, does that sound dirty to anybody else? And uh, this is what we were looking for. Some food experts say we can get all the nutrients we need from a diet of milk and potatoes. Yeah, I think one of the experts is from Idaho and the other one's from Wisconsin. Go figure. All right, smack you. Get ready for... Do you peek after you strip? Hey, I, you know that song Dean Martin's known for singing called That's Amore? Well, there's a reason I bring it up, okay? Check out these alternate lyrics. When the strip hits your pore, opens it like a door. What is that? That's Biore, that's Atari, that's Cacciatore, or that's a Apore. When somebody screws up, picks the one I made up, that's a Apore. Huh, all the smart people usually pick this one. Biore makes those poor perfect strips that pull out dirt and blackheads from your disgusting face. And what you rely on when Biore is all gone, that's called duct tape. Hit that buzzer. Time for a little roadkill. Buzz in when you see the answer that unites the two clues. And remember to look at all the correct answers to figure out that bonus round. All right then, let's slip her into gear. Blank M for murder, it keeps time. Son, blank. What's the connection here?
from a volcano. Simple machine and handle. Muscular fitness and sounder pitch. Okay, bonus time. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all medical toys? Brands of soap. Catching. Man, you really cleaned up on that one. You better break open the bubbly. All right, get a load of you. Ah, let's keep going. How much will this one be worth? Hit that buzzer. And the category is... Fill her up the hard way. Hey, uh, how about digging yourself out of the hole on this one, okay? If the local fast food joint offers free capillary refills, what will they do to you? Press your fingernails, punch your face, slash your wrists, or cut your hair? No, but that's what I about did last time they are out of those shamrock shakes, though. <laughs> well, it seems so obvious now, doesn't it? You can check for good blood circulation by pressing a fingernail and watching the blood refill into the capillaries. And then you can peel back the nail to see if you're an instant winner. Oh, that buzzer, let's see how much cash... Huh, well, it's better than nothing. And it's gonna be called... Sex Addicts. Hey, uh, are you a sex addict? If you just can't get enough formication, how might you enjoy doing the deed? Only with Norm Crosby while tattoos are being removed, with ants crawling over your skin, or after shaving yourself completely. Hey, uh, here's some aftershave for you. Yeah, I thought so. Formication is an itching sensation that feels like ants are crawling all over your skin. And by ants, I mean the insects. You know, if you got relatives crawling all over you, that's a whole nother condition you got there. Tickle your buzzer and let's... Whoa, you just set yourself up to win or lose a lot of cash. It's time to play Guess or Dad. This Dis or Dad's category name is... You can be too rich and too skinny. All right, I'm going to list off seven items. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a name that includes light or a name that includes slim. You cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. you got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. Miller, is it light or slim? Right? Jim! Fast! You're losing! D! Dickens! Rock! Well, you lost two of them, but at least you got the majority. Okay, my friend, there's your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. Alright, buzz in and let's see what kind of... Nice! Alright, high roller, here's what you're getting. Do I use the small fork on myself or the big one? Okay, suppose you're attending a formal dinner party at a swanky home in the Hamptons. Funny thing is, the host is a flesh-eating virus and you're the featured course. Because you're the meat course at a formal dinner, when will the viral dinner guests begin dining on you? Right before the dessert, right before the soup, right before the salad, or right after the bucket of booze? You obviously know nothing of fine dining. Uh, pass the mayo, please. The soup's a little thin. Thank you. Should have picked this one. The bad news is you'll be eaten right before the salad. Uh, the good news is if there's anything left of you, you'll have plenty of room for dessert. How much cash we playing? This baby's gonna be... I can stop using lip balm anytime I want to. What, do you like being in debt? Pay attention here. Oh no, the FDA has outlawed Carmex. Based on its ingredients, what might you rub on your lips instead of the addictive lip balm? 
Rose petals, a beehive, steel wool, or a frog? No, kissing the frog is probably what chapped your lips in the first place. Hey, let's see what a correct answer looks like. Carmex is made with beeswax. The thing about that is, though, you know, the bees, they're so sneaky, they sting you on the lips, and then your lips swell and pus and eventually dry out, and then you need more beeswax. See what they're doing? See? Hit your buzzer and sneak. This one will be... Sports that need more nudity. Question, please. If you're skinny dipping at the Skins game, who's seeing your naked rump on national TV? Unbelieving soccer viewers, violated NASCAR fans, sick and golf enthusiasts, or disgusted tennis buffs? Yeah, I challenge you to show me a NASCAR fan that doesn't look violated already. Huh, maybe you didn't see this one. The Skins game is an annual golfing event. The Senior Tour has one as well as the PGA and the LPGA. And you know, you should really be ashamed of yourself. Golf enthusiasts don't like anything distracting them from the excitement of watching other people play golf. Alrighty, buzz in and set the cash back. And your category is... Love your liver spots. And away we go. What weapon would work best against Detective George Francisco from the TV show Alien Nation? A dog whistle, a can of insecticide, a switchblade comb, or a squirt gun filled with salt water? <laughs> Silly, dogs can't whistle. <laughs> wow. Um, how about this one? In Alien Nation, Detective Francisco is an alien, and uh, the aliens can't take the salt water. It burns their skin. But man, good luck trying to beat him in a sour milk chugging contest. All right. Gee, I hope you get this clue. What a lovely shade you are. Me, I prefer Venetian blinds, but you know, I have like a Western exposure, so... Um, oh, well, uh, good luck. Let's check out that final score. El Stinko.